All right, turning to jobs now. Uh, every week we focus on ways to get a jump start in the workforce. In our last Reclaim Your Career segment, we gave you tips for managing stress when you have to work more. So that got us thinking, what if you want to get out of the rat race, rat race but um, you want to still keep a job? You just want to work fewer hours. Sounds intriguing, doesn't it? <laughs> Valerie Burton is the author of Where Will You Go From Here, a new book uh, in today's Reclaim Your Career. Valerie is here to answer some of the questions of the day. A lot of folks say, you know what? I have a job. Yes. But I'm pooped, so how do I still have a job and I guess put less into it? Well, no, make enough money that I'm, I'm still able to keep going. People are overworked. God work. <laughs> That's true. It is called work. It is called work. Okay. But you know what? People's expectations are different these days. Yeah. And for a lot of people, they just realize there's more to life than work and they're okay. trying to find ways to work less as opposed so, to working So this more. really is for the person who has a job where there's some flexibility, uh -huh. right? Hopefully. <laughs> okay. Yeah, hopefully. And for a lot of people, it's about finding that level of flexibility. And, and so, for some, it's also, they've, they've got a family that's coming along right. and they don't want to work as much. Okay. And so how do you go about, you know, you're working 40 hours a week or more and somehow you want to... I guess feel like you have more time for your life. Does yeah. it mean simply restructuring yes. your work week? Yes. So a lot way. of it is restructuring and it's about a lot of people work hard but they don't work smart. So mm -hmm. you want to make sure that you got you have to break some of those bad habits. Yeah. You know, you think about corporate America, people have so many meetings. Maybe you need to rethink a meeting for everything. Do we do we have a purpose for this meeting? Do we know how long it's going to be? If you find yourself mm -hmm. overworking but you're not necessarily more productive than your coworkers, first one in, last so one out, that's a problem. That means you have to stand up and say, hey, we've got too many meetings and yeah. you have to introduce an alternative. That's right. So introduce that nobody thinks that you're just somebody who's, you know, I guess putting a poo-poo on everything. Yeah, and then also, you know, one of the ways you can restructure technical your day <laughs> yeah, that's real technical. <laughs> is to find a way to create appointments around whatever it is that you're trying to do. So if you've got a 5.30 workout session with your personal trainer, you're more likely to leave work at 5 o'clock. Sometimes we need to create structure that mm. forces us out of the to workplace. Be more that's right. Okay, and, uh, you know, perhaps, um, you know, your company you know, has kind of a mantra where, you know, the more you work, the more rewards you yeah, get. Yeah, yeah. So you have to know your company. So if you want to work less, one, know your company. Know that you might be in a company where that means no promotions or slow promotions. And if you are okay with that because, mm. for example, you want to focus on family right now, that may be fine. But there are a lot of companies right now, Fred, that would welcome the opportunity for, a, for an employee to work less. Really? If they're able to pay them less and oh. still have that impact. So if you're able to downsize a bit or if you're able to still pay your bills and you want to work less, you might be able to work something out with your employer so to do that. So that sounds like there has to be some real strategy on how you're going to That's talk right. to your boss. Yes, there has to be some strategy. So you want to think about it ahead and one of the questions you have to ask is, can I afford to work less and you may make that a goal know your number how much do you need to have saved how much is it that you would need to be bringing in every single month in order to work less mm. and does it also mean asking yourself a question or two about whether this is the job for me mm -hmm. or does it mean that it's time to switch careers because yeah. I want to be able to have more of a life outside of work yes and so that's the big question a lot of people find themselves at a crossroads and if you've had a layoff or some things yeah. are happening at your job sometimes that's a perfect time to reevaluate your options so another great thing is to say, do I want to prepare myself for a career that's going to pay me more even if I work less? So that might be a long-term solution that takes you a couple of years to get to because it requires training. But sometimes switching careers is that best option to have more work-life balance. So bottom line, this is not going to be easy. This is going to be a big challenge yes. because just last week we were talking about mm -hmm. companies are piling on more work that's for right. employees mm -hmm. because there are cutbacks. It means you're doing the job of three people. That's right. And now you're going to go to your boss and say, I want fewer hours? <laughs> Well, some people are doing it. I know in, in my very first job, when I launched my first business as a consultant, I went from having to work 40 hours a week to 40 hours a month for the same company. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. Take it from her. Valerie Burton knows. All right. Thanks so much. <laughs> thanks, Fred. Appreciate it.